matron take them away. Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to go back to market. Just flick this over. I do have this on a buy. I've already told the guys in the Discord what it is. Buy at two o'clock. Now, 10 past two and away it's gone. You'll have seen me do pound. You'll have seen me do the DAX already. And now I'm looking at this. Now, on that sheet, it told me to wait. And why? Because I want to see what it's up to. So that's what I'm doing. So here's a good buying point. Here's a good buying point. Let it relax a little bit, then pop. Up we go. All right. And pop is the thing. Some like what I do. Some don't and have a pop at but the ones who have a pop at me watch me every day a bit odd really isn't it if you don't like it don't bloody watch it if you can't trade go work in mcdonald's and i can't be any fairer than that you know call it tough love or or whatever you want to call it it's just me doing my job so, where's a good entry? There's a good entry, just on that line. Now, there's another one, because we've got a lot of surging power coming in, just above here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two orders in. Put one just above it, there. Right, that one's in. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to move this back slightly. And we're both going to be coming up to roughly around this area. This one. Okay. That's the general premise of this trade. Now I can scale here, 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 and then down here if I saw which. With a view to get up here. Now... This has been an odd day because of the amount of news that's been involved today. You know, we, we had obviously the Bank of England at 12 and then there's US data at 1.30, which makes the markets odd. So I've been really conservative today, really conservative. And that's one of the things. Know what's around the chart as well as what's on the chart. In other words, outside factors. And that way, you'll be better prepared to go into battle. Because that's what we do every day of the charts. We're going into battle. And if you aren't on your ear game and you aren't prepared, you're going to lose. It's that simple, guys. So, what's the premise of this? Well, as I said, it's talking to these. Um, have my key levels in already there they can see that they also have the bias which is here telling me to buy it that was put in at two o'clock now i've been watching this most of the morning now earlier on it was a buy but the criteria wasn't ready and i was also committed into these so i decided not to and then from there we all just carry on now I do try and give sort of a lot of advice in these face-to-face -face videos. Some like it, some don't. And again, you don't like it, don't watch it. It's that simple. The ones that are in there are there to try and learn and understand what trading is. You know, but there's an element, and this is across the board, just want signals. They just want somebody to do it for them, the microwave. Cheeky fuckers. Well, my friend, you've already failed. Go work in McDonald's. You'll get paid better. Um, let some little snotty teenager tell you what to do. Sensitive. This is a job. It's a professional career. And it ain't easy. It's not easy at all. There's that trade. It's coming into play just as I described it would and it's about ready to pop out. So I'm going to take out some money off this because it's also been a good day. So I'm going to take that out there. Just going to edge my stops in. 
see what, what we're looking at. Just get them in. There we go. I don't want to give this away. So what I'll do is I'll keep an eye on it. Just like so. Right, boom, out. Why have I killed it? Because it could go back into negative territory. What's the point? I can always re-enter this if I so wish. Um, that quick. Don't want to hang around. So it's got me 52 quid in three minutes. Three minutes, 52 quid. Just by talking to you guys. You know, pulled my management in. So if it did spike down, it might cost me a fiver. Big deal. Can I go back into this? Yeah, probably can. So just have a look at it. See if the setup is still around. Uh, it's not bad. Put the order back in. Bingo. You're taller than I imagined. I'm bigger in every department. Order's back in. Right. Drop that back down to, say, 50 quid. There we go. There's 50 quid. See what happens, you know. And why have I done it that way? Well, reversing. If it was going to take me out, I don't want to be on that side of it. It's just stupid, you know. If it's going to continue on its journey, just put the order back in. And away you go. What have you lost? Lost a few, maybe three or four pips. Already bagged. Don't matter. Trading. And what I'm trying to do is just steer between this level and this level. With this, trying to get up here somewhere. Anything over 50 quid, I'm happy. Why? Because that's 10 pips. 10 pips in a day trade is fine. Nothing wrong with it. And then you can just work your chart. Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to work this chart. See if I can get another 50 quid out of it. If I can, I'll be happy. Call it a day. And that's it. Good stuff. Okay, guys, that's it. Let's see, it's 18 minutes past two, so I've been doing this for five, ten minutes, maybe. And it's done reasonably well. And in that time, Paul, there you go. So, 105 quid. Done my wages, done what I need to do today. Job's done. I don't need to do any more. Good job. Oh. Some like what I do, some don't like what I do. But I know how to do this. I do it every day. I've just done that straight in front of you. Can't be any fairer than that. So, what can Big Scruff do to help you? Apart from slap you around the face, tell you to grow up, and start treating this like a job. Well, that's it, really. Treat it like a job. If you can't treat it like a job, you're destined to fail. And 
probably one of the reasons that most traders fail in this industry is because they just think it's a game they think it's easy but they're also a bunch of freaking idiots because they always know what they're doing football managers syndrome or barstool manager as i call it they're the ones who always tell the referee how to do that job or they're the dickhead at work who always knows better than the manager except the managing director goes home in a Mercedes and they get into a clapped out car because one, they're not very good at that job so they don't hit bonus and two, they're not given overtime because their mouth goes too much. That's why they're a loser. And sadly, I can't fix that. But let me tell you something, folks. You can't fix stupid. There's not a pill you can take. There's not a class you can go to. Stupid is forever. So, there you go. But when it comes to those charts, if you zone into it, follow your tasks, disciplined, day in, day out, don't be greedy, you'll make it. And then you'll find that you're making a dollar today or a pound today. But tomorrow you're making a pound and ten. The day after you're making one pound fifty. Doesn't sound a lot. But it all adds up. Step by step. And each one of those steps makes you better at your job. And the better you are at the job, the calmer you become. And then once you're calm you'll be able to see the motion of the market, be able to understand the motion of the market. That's when you become a winner. But if you're sitting there crying, pointing the finger, always blaming somebody else but yourself, well, look in the mirror and you'll find the problem. Tough love from Big Scruff. So get your down votes in, stick in as many as you can. Just so that um, I can see how many pop eyes is out there. Trust me, I know how many there is. And they can all fuck off. So, that's me signing off. Done everything I said I would do today. All documented. And all called well before I've went to market. See if you can do it. As always guys. Do what you love. And the money will fall. See you all in the next one.